Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member, and thank you, Secretary Mnuchin, for being here. We've asked you a lot of questions uh, about uh, regulatory issues in the Treasury that range from cybersecurity to terrorist financing to FSOC and uh, its financial uh, risk, and the list goes on and on. But I'm, I'm going to shift to the people part of it. But I'm going to start by first referencing from your testimony today about on line three of the first page, uh, you use the word sustain economic growth. And on page four, about three lines from the bottom, you have stated there is much more work for us to do. Uh, our country's potential is enormous, which is why Americans expect their government to enact policies that allow them to succeed and prosper. I agree with that. Uh, our ranking member has allowed me to sit second chair on, on OMWE. And so when you were here before, the time ran out, so I submitted in writing my request to you, and that was almost uh, a year ago, asking you at that time if you had uh, met with your director of OMWE. Uh, I'm appreciative of a response, even though I just got it on Friday after about seven months, so I assume some good staff person got it to you to prepare you for today. So I will now ask you today, have you met with your Omni director, or do you know who your Omni director is? Well, first of all, again, let, let me just say the responses to the questions took way too long, and we apologize to the committee. Um, and uh, as it relates to, to the Omni, I am, I am planning on meeting with them. So is that no and no? No, you don't know who the Omni director is, and no, you have not met with the Omni director. And while you're conferring, let me just read to you, Mr. Secretary, that Section 342B3 of the Dodd-Frank Act mandates that each Omni director is to advise the agency administrator for the U.S. Treasury, that would be you on the impact of the policies and regulations of the agency on minority-owned and women-owned businesses, and that under Section 342G2 of the Dodd-Frank Act, it defines you as the agency administrator. So maybe that helps refresh your memory. Can you, you want to have to- I, I'm going to have to follow up with my staff on that and get- So that answer. means you don't know who the person is and you've not met with the person? Uh, I, I don't know who I the person is. I just need a is. yes or no. I don't know who the person is right now off the top of my head and I want to confirm with my staff. So that would make you in violation of a direct law of something that you're supposed to be doing. I don't want to belabor this, but Mr. Secretary, I want to let you know this is not only important to me, this is something that's mandated and required. And when we talk about, in your words, of enacting policies that allow people to succeed and prosper, it is my belief that we have this in Dodd, Frank, because there have been people like you and others who have not been proponents of AMWI, who have not followed through, so thus we put it in law. This is something that I've asked every person that has sat in that chair that is required to follow Section 342. So can you tell me how soon you're going to make this happen? Because there's no need in me asking I'm you. I'm going to get back to you tomorrow. Okay. You have my commitment on that. 